Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our Lord God, Jesus Christ, has come with another beautiful prophetic anointed one. And the Lord says that your godly ordinance powers will support your ministry. My beloved ones, this is completely prophetic because as I reveal it to you, I can strongly feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. I can strongly feel that the Lord is seriously giving you this prophetic anointing. This is a needful anointing. This is a needful message. You should know this, says the Lord. My beloved ones, you should know this, that your godly ordained spouse shall support your ministry. And the Holy Spirit always reveals it to us for the glory of our Lord God Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of God. It is not for our personal desires. So the Lord says, never ask for a godly ordained spouse who is rich, but always ask for a godly ordained spouse who shall minister unto the Lord and the blessings of prosperity shall automatically follow you because yes the Lord wants you to become rich for his glory for his plan and purpose you shall be kingdom financers but your own husband or your own wife shall be supportive towards you in your ministry no matter what gift of Holy Spirit you have and what designation you have in the Lord, you are a servant of God. And the Lord says that no matter whoever you are, whether you are an apostle, a pastor, preacher, an evangelist, a prophet, a prophetess, a brother or sister in Christ, whether you are a spiritual prayer warrior, whether you are an intercessor no matter whether you have children's ministry whether you have a ministry where you are taking care of the orphans and the widows whatever is your ministry whether you are helping one another whether you have a ministry of helping each other or helping the pastor in the church there are so many ministries, my beloved ones, that God has planned this work for you. And above all is we all minister reconciliation to all. Reconciliation to uh, above Father in heaven. That is the main ministry, the first ministry, the actual ministry and supporting this ministry we have so many ministries also the praise and worship ministry if you are serving the lord by playing instruments by singing by creating music by writing spiritual songs so many so everyone needs support in their ministry However, to be specific, to be more closer, to be more genuine and honest, the Lord says that your godly ordained spouse will be supportive towards your calling, towards your ministry, my beloved ones. This is such a beautiful message. And when I heard it the first time, I said, Lord, how did you know I always wanted to hear it from you? I always wanted to hear this prophetic word from the Lord and I had been waiting. It is joyful when the Lord knows you more than what you pray, more than what you ask, more than what you seek and his answer is very big and large and today this anointing is coming upon you so you shall receive it. You shall receive it my beloved ones you are the children of God so you shall receive it I have also observed that after reading out 
we have an increase in the subscribers and an increase in the true people of God. The month of May was very tough for me when it was the month of reading it out. And now as I see the real God's people are getting connected, I can see the intentions. Their goal is salvation. They have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. I can see it all genuine. And within a week, I can see an increase in the subscribers. So my beloved ones, this is all Holy Spirit. And even when you shall be blessed with your godly ordinance spouse, your own husband or your own wife, says the Lord. Now it is time to have your own husband and your own wife who shall be supportive. So whatever you are doing, small, little, big, bigger, greatest for the kingdom of God, you shall have a supportive hand. And you know it very well that the best person to support you is your own man or your own woman. My beloved ones, this every man or every woman in Christ, they, they want, they need this prophetic word. No matter who you are, no matter how big or small your church is, no matter how big or small your calling is, your ministry is, no matter how far you have reached in serving the Lord, the Lord now says that you shall have the support that you need. So you shall have support and the Lord has given me so many prophetic word on godly ordinance powers. There are many prophecies coming on how your godly ordinance power shall be. And the Lord says that it is going to surpass all your wicked understanding, all your own understanding. It is going to surpass all your mediocrity understanding, the understanding of your tiny, miny mindset. It is going to surpass all this understanding of your own mind, of your own self, which you have brought into practice because of this wicked world of evil desires where people love to ask according to their own taste. The taste that you have, the own taste that is of this world. So women ask, I want a rich husband. And men ask, I want the wife who cooks really good food. So men should better get married to a cook instead of having his own wife and woman if you really want a rich husband then you have not yet learned to depend upon the Lord's word that the Lord is your shepherd Bible Lord once it is the Lord who is a shepherd so surpassing all these are teeny, mini, miny, small, tiny, miny understandings. We are we think so little, small, tiny, miny in front of the Lord's big and glorious plan. So today I'm filled with joy. I'm feeling very happy, and I am feeling lighter. The Lord's burden that is light it has come upon me. His yoke is easy and his burden is light and that has come upon me and I can feel the lightness in my spiritual room as I prophesy over your life. I feel good. This is so pleasant, so soothing. You shall have, you shall marry or you shall be blessed with the godly ordinance spouse who shall support your ministry. If you have a ministry of cooking food for the people of God, your godly ordained spouse, whoever it is, shall be supportive. Now the Lord never says that men shall not cook food and only women should cook food. And the Lord never said that women should not preach the gospel. 
they should not become pastors and preachers and evangelists you see my beloved once we are in the end time days the this is the end time ministry the ministry where we are in the grace of god and not in the customs and traditions the church of the olden days they might have a certain set of rules but now we are walking spirit led being led by the holy spirit because his grace has increased the challenges have increased and the grace has increased so we need more people who would serve the lord so now you shall find even your children your kids they are serving the lord at very young age their calling is decided in the spiritual womb in your womb in the mother's womb as soon as they are born after a couple of years they start serving the lord this is how fast the lord is working and due to this reason he is going to share this support with you the support is coming to you the supporting godly ordained spouse is coming to you and if you are already married you shall see the transformation in your godly ordained spouse all of a sudden overnight miracles shall happen and i have already started seeing this happening with the pastors their life is changing after i prophesy over their life the apostles their life is changing after i prophesy over their life and i deliver them in the name of jesus by the anointing and authority that i have in the name of jesus it is all about jesus my beloved ones it is all about the kingdom of god once you are born again it is not about you even when the lord says that i shall bless you with the desires of your heart the lord will never bless you with anything that is not beneficial for the kingdom of god he shall bless you with the desires of the heart and the prayers that you ask for his glory for his kingdom for the testimonies and not because you want to live like a king and like a queen just because you see others doing the same my blood once you are already a king and a queen a king a righteously and you shall live a majestic life because of that not because someone else is living this kind of life because i receive emails where people say that in spite of they being believers they see that the people of the world they are blessed with more blessings and riches that is for everyone but they do not have salvation even i have grown up seeing others more blessed in the materialistic world more than me but i have also seen the wickedness attached to the materialistic blessings i have also seen and i have also known that in this way they won't have salvation so my blood ones the lord wants to bless you that's why he is now sending you the supportive husband or the supportive wife you shall see the manifestations very soon says the lord my beloved ones if you have been led by the holy spirit to this prophetic channel then subscribe to it and press the notification bell icon to receive the daily prophetic anointing we thank all those who are honoring the lord with their wealth and for all the offerings we bless you with a hundredfold of return my beloved ones if you have not yet received our lord god jesus christ if you have not yet received the holy spirit we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand our father in heaven we come into your presence to our lord jesus christ and today we receive salvation we receive holy spirit into our heart oh lord forgive us our sins and help us to be born again we shall seek you oh lord jesus christ unto zion in jesus mighty name amen 
my beloved ones, with the small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you, you shall walk the walk of righteousness.